I guess I got into fashion from blacksmithing because I wanted to build these collars, these ruffles and corsets and stuff. I'm not a big fashion person, like I can't afford lots of things. I like corsets and heels and like a burlesque type style. But yeah, I got into fashion from blacksmithing. That makes any sense. I did a lot of forming things, like the copper dress and stuff that's all formed. Copper's great to work with, it's just kind of expensive. So steel's a little, I like steel. It's a tough material, but it's kind of a pain to cut through. One of my teachers at school was like, oh, hey, you should uh, apply for like, a blacksmith assistantship up at this place in Lake New Jersey. And I was like, oh, sure, why not? I have no idea what I'm doing. I might as well try it. So I did, and they accepted me somehow, and I showed up there, and I'm like, I have no idea what any of this stuff is, and I'm supposed to be your assistant, and I don't know how to use any of it. But I was okay. But <laughs> You can take like a little square of metal and like you can split it in different directions and you can stretch it. And it's cool for me to be like, oh, I took this little tiny piece of metal and I made it to this. It took a lot of years of making a lot of uh, not so good stuff to eventually make something decent. The forging is like, that's the more exciting part to me. I'm out there trying to stretch things in different directions, which is kind of amazing. What I want to do is I want to have a runway show because in my thesis in grad school I had nude women in all my pieces with like high fashion makeup, like crazy hair, and it was really awesome. I don't feel like my art's the type of art that's, I guess, lofty, and I think that's cool so people, like little kids can get it or... People can understand it on different levels. You don't need to have like art degrees and be fancy.